Okay, enough with the hard color changes. Let's learn something that is a bit more easy. A bit easier, actually, that's what I wanted to say. So, here's how the color change looks like. We're going to be cutting the deck somewhere in the center. And you can see we have the three of clubs, but if I just turn my wrist, it changes into the three of spades. Again, just a turn of the wrist, and now we have the two eights just sitting over here. This is a beautiful color change developed by Edward Marlowe back in the 90s. So, uh, not in the 1990s, but in the 1900s. <laughs> so, because I, I don't know exactly the years, probably 70s or 80s. Uh, the premise of this is basically just pushing one card on top of the other. And you do this by cutting the deck and moving it forward and having your index finger just clip onto this card. You know, you're basically just pulling down on the bottom card. And if you want to make this easier for you, you can bevel the deck towards yourself a bit so that you can actually have access to that card. And then all I have to do is just push this card down and it will instantly line up with the card from down below. Even if it doesn't line up perfectly, you still have a nice change. So you're pushing and the card just changes. You can even cover the card and make it change. You can push it. Wait, let's grab onto that one card. No, the card's easy, harder after a while. You can turn your hand. Let's go again. We cut the deck, move it forward. And then we, we can pull with our thumb, something which I do very often. I put with my thumb and then I grip with my index finger. Not necessary. You can just instantly pull with your index finger, show the card, and then do the color change. Notice how sometimes if it's a new deck, uh, the other card from underneath will move as well. So the thing with this is that you don't want the spectator to see that you are preparing the card from underneath, nor do you want the card to stick out over here. So make it as seamless as possible. Also, when you are doing the pushing action, don't make it obvious that you're moving your finger inside. So when you do the turn, don't turn your hand and then push. And last thing, obviously, let's see, when you're doing the color change over here, cover it so that the spectator cannot see, you know, the card moving down. This is a beautiful change that can be applied together with a control. Let's see, for example, we have the spectator select the card from here. We have the four hearts, we use the tilt to control it second from the top, yes, exactly. We get rid of the first card with a double undercut, and then by cutting the deck over here and placing the top packet on, on top of the jack, we basically have the spectator's card just sitting there, so all we have to do is just color change it in one instant. And this is Marlowe's push color change.